I invite you to be seated. I would like to welcome the family of Dr. Harold Rosena and thank friends for coming to show your love and support. The interment will be immediately following this service at Greenwood Cemetery, and the family invites you to join them um, for lunch here at the church in the fellowship hall. As we remember and celebrate the life of Dr. Harold Rosena today, may God grant us grace that in pain we may find comfort, in sorrow hope, and in death resurrection. I invite you to join me in prayer. Almighty God, you are our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Grant us your blessing and help us to put our trust in you that our hearts may be comforted. Lift our eyes to see the light and hope of eternity. May we find grace and strength for this day and every time of need. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. A scripture text that the family chose comes from Matthew 25, verse 23. These are words of Jesus from a parable. His master replied, Well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful with a few things. I will put you in charge of many things. Come and share your master's happiness. As all of you think about the life of Harold, you think about his faith and how much that faith was lived out in his family and his community. Those are the words that we hear from our Savior, well done, good and faithful servant. And it was all done not for his glory, but to the glory of God. And so I invite us to join um, in that wonderful hymn, How Great Thou Art, as we give glory to God. It's found on page 77 in the Red Hymnals.
Dr. Harold Eugene Rosenau peacefully completed his earthly journey to join the love of his life, Jenny, in their eternal heavenly home on March 4, 2024 in Lincoln, Nebraska. Harold was born in Geneva, Nebraska on October 4, 1932 in the late, to the late Dr. Harold Harry and Blanche Butler Rosenau. Harold graduated from Geneva High School and then continued his education at Nebraska Wesleyan University before graduating from UNMC Dental College. Harold married his one true love, Virginia McPeck Rosenau, on June 24, 1956 in Geneva, Nebraska. Together they were blessed with four children, Pat, Pam, Perry, and Paul. Harold served four years in the public health service, living in various parts of the country. In 1961, Harold and Jenny moved to York, Nebraska, where Harold practiced general dentistry and raised their family. Harold was a member of York School Board, serving as president the year his daughters graduated. He sang in York First United Methodist Church's choir for many years and was a member of the Rotary Club serving as president and the Elks Club. He was honored to be crowned York Fest King in 2008. Additionally, Harold served as a trustee and delegate for the Nebraska Dental Association and held officer positions in the Central District Dental Society. Harold cherished his time spent with his children and grandchildren during holidays and birthdays, and also going on numerous family vacations to Colorado. Harold and Ginny enjoyed attending many concerts, musical events, and traveling. Harold is survived by his children, Pat with Barry Falter, Pam and Roger Fleury, Dr. Perry with Jane Rosenau, and Paul Rosenau, as well as his sister, Beth Barlow. He has cherished his role as grandpa or papa to Lieutenant Colonel Adam Brinkman and Kara Bonavia, Andrew with Katie Brinkman, Dr. Ariel Brinkman and Lane Ford, Anna Brinkman, Dr. Megan Fleury, Mark Fleury, Dr. Alexis Rosenau and Wyatt Sutterth, and Aaliyah Rosenau. Harold's legacy lives on through his six great-grandchildren, Piper and Stella Brinkman, Cora and Oren Brinkman, Bonavia and Ophelia and Ivy Ford. Harold was preceded in death by his wife of 58 years, Virginia McPeck Rosenau. His parents, Harold and Blanche Rosenau, and his brother, Ronald Rosenau, Sr. Pam is now going to come forward and share um, some memories um, that the family um, have this morning. So you're welcome to come forward. Love and wisdom.